Hi guys, what's up you all? Welcome back to my channel and you're watching me, Tanuja. And for today's video, we are doing something which is one of the most requested topics and you know like video suggestion ideas that I get all the time over my Instagram, which is how to do your flawless base something which is very long lasting which stays and basically how to do it in a way so that it doesn't really get cakey or starts coming off or you know sort of cracks up so now this is a topic which i personally cannot cover under a minute i'm sorry to say this is not going to be you know like your shortcut videos no 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 this is something which is a detailed topic and even i'm making this after years of doing my own makeup and you know like figuring out things doing mistakes testing out products and whatnot so i'm super happy to share with you guys all my secrets all my tips and tricks on how to do your own base makeup this is going to be a truly base centric video so without any further ado let's get started okay step one and the most important is your base prep now when i talk about skin prep i'm not necessarily saying that you have to have or you need to use a like a primer primer situation you can skip primer as well depending on what your skin needs and what your preferences with makeup go for example me personally i sometimes skip on primer it's totally okay but what you should not skip is skincare before makeup so right now if you look at my skin i have done my skincare which is going to act as my skin prep and we are good to go directly with our base products okay step number two color correction when we talk about color correction we're basically talking about cancelling all this discoloration that a lot of people basically have around their mouth these could be you know like your pimple scars your under eyes primarily so you need to cancel those out now i personally love using these swiss beauty concealers to do you know my color correction or even my concealing these have been my favorites since quite a long you know like if you guys have been here you know you know that I've been using these since years now. Like so much so that I already have a backup of these concealers. So, I mean, I can't help if a product is good. I am going to sing and talk about it. So first up, I'm using the shade 04, which is actually very close to my skin tone. Even like, let's say a shade darker to my skin tone, which is going to help me cancel all of this darkness. Now you will notice that the placement is done on all the parts which were slightly you know which had like pigmentation on my face or which were a little bit you know like very discolored so now i'm gonna let the concealer sit for like 10 seconds doing this will actually change your concealer game this concealer in itself is actually pretty nice i mean uh, i'm gonna be very honest it gives me coverage it's very lightweight it's not patchy at all it stays the entire day and most importantly it gives me a very natural looking finish now after blending you'll immediately notice that my face looks you know like very flat and sort of even toned and now is the perfect time to use a foundation and for that one of my recent favorites and i love using this product is the swiss beauty primer mousse foundation now this is a lightweight foundation foundation which is perfect for let's say like your everyday usage this is how the packaging looks i'm in the shade 04 natural nude i love using this because this has you know like a very velvety sort of a very very smooth finish like you saw in the beginning of the video that i skipped primer so products like these are actually two in one which help me to you know like cut down on the number of steps because this one not only gives me coverage or let's say like that beautiful finish but it also sort of you know gives like a filter like finish product on the back of my hand is the correct way to go about your application now i love using my fingers to spread the foundation on my face so i'm gonna just you know like sort of mix this up and warm the product in i'm gonna take some apply it like so now depending on your preference you can either choose a simple brush to blend in your foundation or go with a blender like me if you want to go for a more let's say natural and weightless sort of a finish a brush will actually give you a very high coverage look i like to keep it you know like something that covers my pigmentation yet you know like my skin's natural texture or let's say my skin just peeks through a little so i love to use a blender for that so i'm gonna just wet this one and put it 
use now here the blender damp another important point a mistake which a lot of people do make sure that your blender is damp and not wet even when you squeeze it hard there's no water you know like coming out of here the reason is like if your blender has a lot of water and some of these base products are oil based products so what's going to happen is that they are going to you know like sort of separate and crack and you are going to get like these very weird patches if your blender is not damp and actually very wet now i'm going to start blending the mousse foundation i'm going to just start picking up whatever is left on the back of my hand and i'm going to start blending it right away now you want to go in in tapping motions and not blend or sort of rub it has to be tap so tapping is basically you you're getting it like you touch your skin you pick it up i know you guys know what a tapping motion means <laughs> So that's my foundation all blended. Now technically if you don't want any more coverage, you can go in and set in your base. I personally like to give that, you know, like a little bit of a 3D touch. So what I do is I'm going to use a lighter shade of concealer on my under eyes and a little bit on the bridge of my nose, some on my chin and then I'm going to show you the difference it creates. So I'm using the shade 03 for that in the Sis Beauty liquid concealers. So this is basically the T point of my face. I'm going to blend this out. So this is going to uplift the structure of my face. Let's blend. Now after doing this, you can immediately notice that my under eyes have brightened up and my face in general just looks very uplifted. Time for the last step which is set it and forget it. I am talking about a good oil control 2-in-1 compact powder again from Swiss Beauty. Now I personally love it because of the packaging, it's super cute. So it comes in you know like with two shades, so you have one over here and then you have another right behind it. And Nietzsche you get puff in the bottom. So now how I go about it is that I'm gonna take this simple sponge. I might as well fold it a little bit just like this so this creates you know sort of like this shape which is perfect to go under your eyes before setting your under eye make sure that your eyes ke niche koi creases nahi hai. so all you have to do is just look into the mirror look up and sort of you know like just smoothen if there is you know like any concealer settling in into your fine lines so i'll just take some product right over here once i've done that i'm gonna look into the mirror remove any creases it's creaseless so now i'm gonna look up and sort of make this stretched face so that there are no lines when i'm trying to set my under eye Also, this powder will give you a lot of coverage, so be mindful of that. Now, I'm going to take a simple fluffy powder brush and dust off all of this excess. Gave a little love to the eyes, some blush. I use the Swiss Beauty Cream and Up blush. So, so, so gorgeous. I have reviewed it on my Instagram. Go check it out. But other than that, the last finishing touch has to be a beautiful, simple gloss. I love using the Swiss Beauty Plump Up Wet Glosses. I have them in like four shades now. Two of my favorites are the 05 Suave Mauve and 01. I think this is called Barely There. I'm gonna go with Barely There today. I am in a very nude and um, classy mood today. So yeah, let's go. I love the shine that this gloss gives me but anyways that's the base complete for your information you can actually go in with a powder blush or a cream blush whatever you like this base is both liquid and powder friendly for example i use the swiss beauty cream it up blush which is like a cream formula still my base looks spot on in fact it gives you that beautiful glow from within so this base is actually like powder and liquid friendly once you've done it you can go in with whatever you like so yeah with that today Today's video comes to an end. I hope I was able to teach you guys something and I'm looking forward to see you all create this beautiful flawless base. 
I'm actually very excited for that. Also, don't forget to check out the description box for a link of all of these amazing products used in this video. Sis Beauty in general is, um, you know, like one of that affordable brands that is always spot on with their new launches. I'm absolutely loving what they're doing with the brand right now. And I'm also a genuine consumer of their products. So, I mean, the quality says for its own. So, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and let me know which one was your favorite base product. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Tab tak kili bye bye, tata and namaste.